I'm Molly Carlson, Team Canada High Diver. So I started in gymnastics when I was seven years old, fell in love with competing and challenging myself and trying new brave skills. And my sister was a swimmer, and so I would go to her training and see these divers. When I was 10, I looked around and I was like, this is where I want to be for a really long time. And I ended up a bronze medalist at my first nationals. And from that moment on, it was more than just a hobby, it was a career. In my head there's a beat, it's the beat that you make when you move and your body you prove that it can't escape, it can't escape. As I began to compete internationally for Team Canada, this added a new level of pressure that I wasn't expecting and took the pressure of, okay, to be the best athlete, I need to look a certain way. I went through this dark phase of being body dysmorphic and kind of developing a binge eating disorder. I felt like I was alone and I felt like no one understood what I was going through. Being super mentally unstable affected my physical performance. And I knew that at this moment was when I needed to ask for help. And as soon as an athlete makes that decision to get help for themselves is when you see a beautiful transition. Shut up the lights, we don't need them to die. I decided to go to Florida State University and I got to change my perspective on the sport of diving and see that it wasn't all about how you looked, it was about, you know, the joy that you bring to every dive. Right before I graduated, I knew I had a tough choice to make between completely stopping diving, continuing regular diving, or going to high diving. I told myself, what would bravery be if I didn't go for this 20 meter platform journey? I was invited to join the professional circuit and as soon as I stepped foot on that first tower, it's so different. It's outside, you're dealing with wind and waves and my first competition was in France and we jumped from a rock literally this big, my feet didn't fit on it. So I started sharing all of the behind the scenes content of high diving. I started thinking to myself, why don't we become the Brave Gang? And people started catching on and wanted to be a part of this brave community and sharing their own brave stories. All athletes know that every large goal starts with small brave successes. And now the Brave Gang community is just celebrating and being proud of themselves for the small things on their process to their big dreams. I feel like I'm jumping off that platform for a bigger cause and I'm supporting mental health initiatives, I'm supporting small brave journeys and small successes of new athletes that could be our future Olympic generation.